Crop over, good morning! Happy Crop Over Barbados and welcome to the Signia Globe Financial Junior Masquerade Project in association with Burger King, Pine Hill Dairy, Sunshine Snacks. My name is Nadia Branker and we are so excited to be kicking off this project right here in St. Joseph at the Granley Adams Memorial School. Now, of course, this project is facilitated by the National Cultural Foundation and the Ministry of Education. Now, traditionally, we would have seen the children down at Katie's Kadumut, and we miss seeing them, you know, jamming and having a good time. But of course, with the uncertainty of COVID, the NCF decided not to do a, you know, a big parade. But what they did is they brought Kadumut right into the schools and into the community. Now, of course, we want our Barbadian youth to be part of our culture, to be part of crop over. Now, look around. We are in a band house. Listen, I am feeling the energy. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for crop over now. At this time, I would like to introduce band leader and teacher at the Grantley Adams Memorial School, Carrie Ann Holder. Carrie Ann, we in a band house. How are you feeling? I am really <laughs> excited. Now tell me, why was it important for Grantley Adams Memorial to be part of this project? Well, to begin, um, we were really excited when we first heard about the project. Mm -hmm. I thought that it was a good opportunity for our students to get back into creating again because they were home for so yeah, long. Definitely. This project mm -hmm. really helped our visual arts and CVQ students develop their artistic skills mm -hmm. um, and they were really excited about it. Yeah. So I'm going to ask you one more question, maybe a little personal question. What does crop over mean to you, Carrie Ann? Oh, crop over, it's a celebration. Mm -hmm. It's a celebration from all of the hard work mm -hmm harvesting canes yeah. mm -hmm. and um, just reflecting and realizing all the hard work is done, yeah. time to celebrate, yeah. time to give thanks. Thank you, Carrie Ann. And we cannot wait to see these beautiful costumes. We cannot wait to see them on display and the children enjoying their crop over. Because you know what? The festival's sweet. And as you said, it is a celebration. Crop over is a blessing. Thank you so much, Carrie Ann. Thank you. Related by job, we see I and I together, like birds of a feather, ride out the storm together, we'll lose our drum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And no matter what they can come between, we no time at all. We help each other up if we should fall. I am excited to introduce designer Wayne Smith, the designer of the Grant the Adams Memorial School Band. Now tell me a bit, no first, we can't stop. No, we in a band house. We back at it. How do you feel to be back working again? Excited. Yeah. Very, very excited. Um, this has been my life. So to be able to produce for the stage again mm -hmm. is exciting. So how did it feel? Of course, we've missed Kiddies Kadooma for the last two years. Now this is three years. Um, how do, I, I know you're used to working in Kiddies Kadooma. How does that feel? Put it this way. Um, I had designed a band for 2020 and had to shelve it. Yeah. But during the last couple of years, I've been constantly working on it because I'm going to present that same yeah. presentation whenever yeah. the time comes. So yeah. I've been working. Yeah, I think that's an important point mm -hmm. you made. You know, it was not a lost time. It was a time no. to hone your skills and keep working on your creativity. I know you can even reintroduce it, even with some, you know, some more touches, right? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Now we are right here at Grandi Adams Memorial School. I'm seeing beautiful costumes. I'm seeing beautiful prints. Tell me a bit, how was it working with the students? How did y'all come up with the concept, with the theme? Now let us know. It was exciting. When Andrea Wells from the NCF mm -hmm. said that they were doing this program and she assigned me to Grandi Adams mm -hmm. and told me the significance of their property, I yeah. Consider it a, a, a real mm -hmm. honor and privilege to be the one chosen to to work with it. So obviously, the work mm -hmm. had to, you know, be on par with the significance mm -hmm. of the property. Yeah. So when I got here and I realized the depth of talent that they had, let's start with the staff. Mm -hmm. um, that made what could have been a challenging project manageable. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, and before you go on, of course, we need to talk about the significance of the Grand Islands yes. Memorial School. We are actually on a slave hospital. So well, well, the, the hospital well, is over, right, there, right over there, but the, mm -hmm. the property the ruins, yes. um, mm -hmm. is all part of the Blackman Plantation. Yes. So when I heard about that, you know, my... Yeah. You know, the wheels started yeah. to turn. And, it's really um, producing culture. And, this and, is such an important right. part of our culture Precisely. that maybe some Barbadians yeah. don't even yeah. know. And then one of the history teachers here said to me that in the early days when he started, there was a watchman who told him that if you came on the property in the dead of night, you would hear the beating of drums. Ooh. So that, that we itself Maybe we are going to come at night and see if we hear the beating of the drums. So that in itself became significant in terms of my king, which yes. is called rhythm. Mm -hmm. And it, you will see, um, you know, applique of large drums and, you know, masks that you would use in drumming festivals and stuff like that. So that was the, the, the starting point there. Other, anecdotal things that he was said to me that form some of the motifs you see yeah. in terms of there there were three trees on the property that mm. form a perfect collateral triangle okay and if you look from down on them mm. there was a circle okay. of San Severia plants oh, okay and this is what within, we we're seeing yeah within here. that okay. circle so I translated that into an abstract form that says triangle with the circle of trees Great, thank you so much, Wayne. Let the creativity flow. Now, coming out of COVID-19, I mean, we've had some hard times, but we can see the creativity. We can see the creativity in our students. We can see the creativity, of course, in our designers as well, having to make some changes. Yes. And that's a challenge to the NCF. Maybe some of these projects we keep on, you know, we keep doing these projects. Well, I don't want to speak of the term, but the principal here said that he this is something that he would he want to make yeah. to, to, to do again. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully NCF would support yeah. much more yeah. of this. And we can definitely see how excited the children are. Oh, right? Yeah, yeah they're yeah. so excited. They can't yeah. wait to put on these beautiful masks. Yeah. Look, I love it already. Thank you so much, Wayne. Thank I you. may have to take one of the masks. Thank Enjoy. you. <laughs> All right. Can do. 